I just want to thank everyone for joining us um, to our Colby Sawyer Athletics Town Hall meeting, uh, a meet and greet with Mitch Capel, our new athletic director. Uh, my name is John Hunt. I am a development officer, and I also work with athletics and the Friends of Colby Sawyer Athletics uh, Giving Program. Um, and I just want to thank everyone for taking the time tonight. Um, we've got about an hour or so where Mitch is going to kind of give a little chat about his vision for athletics um, and a few updates, and then we'll have a few moments for some question and answer time. Um, if it's more comfortable for folks to use the chat, you, you're more than welcome to. Um, you could also use the raise hand function in the chat, and, uh, and I can call on you if you'd rather just talk instead of just typing it in. Um, but uh, without further ado, uh, Mitch Capel. Well, thank you, John. And uh, good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I appreciate uh, all of you taking some time to to listen to me talk for a little while, and and hopefully uh, that won't be uh, much of of this evening's program, and we can get to some questions and and uh, and chat a little bit. But um, just wanted to to introduce myself and and uh, uh, tell you a little bit about me. Um, as the uh, now, you know, I think I still have the new athletic director smell still. Uh, having only been here a, a few months, but um, uh, about me and my background, I'm, I'm originally from Wisconsin, uh, a small town in central Wisconsin, grew up on a dairy farm, um, didn't really play very much uh, sports in, in high school and, and in college, just had a passion for uh, college athletics, which led me to a graduate assistant position and then uh, at, uh, to Colby Sawyer actually about 14 years ago. Um, uh, in the sports information director role where I was at uh, in New London for two years uh, doing that and then had the opportunity to go back to Wisconsin and, and continue to work in, in college administration, college athletic administration and, um, and, uh, and, and somehow found my way back to New Hampshire and now back to, to Colby Sawyer. So um, really excited to be here, um, excited to be back. Uh, you know, my family and I are, are excited to be a part of the Chargers family. Uh, my, my kids keep asking, uh, when they can, when are they going to be able to come to to my work? They're they're very excited that we have a pool. Uh, they want to they want to get in there and uh, they're they're a little. Uh, we have a pool at our at our home currently, but they they want to be able to take advantage of it in the winter time and when it's cold out. So um, they're they're excited for that. They keep asking. So, uh, but but really excited to be a part of the the Chargers family and and uh, and when work with a really great group of uh, of student athletes and coaches. Uh, here at Colby Sawyer, um, some of whom I, I met previously and, and have relationships with uh, and longstanding friendships with and, and, a, and a good crop of them who are new, uh, new to me and new to, uh, to Colby Sawyer in general. So excited to, to, to be working with, with everybody there. Um, um, you know, our, our coaches and, and staff, uh, you know, really did a, a, a lot of hard work this fall uh, adapting to you know, this, this different uh, situation that we're dealing with, um, uh, trying, to, trying to provide our student athletes with, with uh, what we said we wanted to do, which was a meaningful athletic experience. Uh, I, I think there's a, a few, few of them on the, on the call tonight, and, and I hope they would say that, that what we did was, was meaningful and, and that we're going to continue to do. Um, but uh, really a shout out to our, our coaching staff and, and, and then our athletic training staff. Uh, you know, who, who was on the front lines day in and day out, you know, trying to work with our student athletes to, to get them prepped and ready for practices and, and, you know, a few scrimmages that we were able to, uh, to, to put on for, for our, uh, uh, our student athletes that we could live stream for the parents who couldn't make it to campus because of, uh, because of everything. But, uh, you know, the athletic trainers really, uh, you know, unsung heroes in this, you know, the support staff that, uh, that goes into this there they're all very important in, in what we're trying to do and make sure that we all stay safe. So I, I wanted to make sure I recognize those, those groups. Um, and we have a couple new faces that'll be joining us that, that just joined us um, and uh, wanted, to, wanted to give them a, a little bit of a, a shout out here. We have a new sports information director. Uh, Ryan Emerson had, has, uh, has gone to uh, Dean College um, to be with George Martin uh, and work with George there. Uh, so we, we've now hired uh, Nick Pencala, uh, who comes to us from, he's a Nashua native um, and previously worked at Merrimack College. Um, so he's, he's joining us now as the new sports information director. Uh, he'll be a great asset uh, for us in our department as we uh, tell the stories of, of all of the, the great things our student athletes are doing on and off the, the field and court um, as, as we move forward. So we're excited to have him. Um, and then also uh, a new women's soccer coach uh, just finalized earlier this week. Um, Grace Sokolow um, is uh, 
going to be joining us here in January. Uh, she comes to us from Finlandia University uh, in Houghton, Michigan. Um, uh, I think anybody who was part of the, the interview process uh, that got a chance to talk to Grace will tell you she's an uh, incredibly impressive individual, uh, had, had success at, at Finlandia uh, in, a, in a tough conference and in a tough situation, uh, playing an almost independent type schedule. Uh, but but had success uh, there, and, and I'm confident that she'll she'll have success with our, our women's soccer student athletes and our team uh, moving forward. That's a, a, a pretty successful program for us, and and we're excited to to, to see what she can do when, when she'll be joining us here in a in a few weeks. Um, and those those are just the two newest ones. Those are in addition to you know some of the newer faces we have. Ed McKenna, who's our, our new rugby coach, was in a uh, part of a, a town hall or a, you know a meet and greet that we did as part of Stay at Homecoming. Um, uh, Helena Sacco, our new swim coach, um, Ryan O'Connell, uh, track and field cross country, and uh, Devin Quadrochi, who's our, our new women's basketball coach. So uh, some, some fresh faces in the department that um, because of COVID, a lot of people haven't had a chance to get to meet yet or, or see in action um, uh, at, a, at a contest, but I can, I can assure you they're all working very hard to um, not only uh, provide that meaningful athletic opportunity we talked about, but but also, you know, get out there and find future chargers. Um, that's been a, a, a big, uh, a, a big part of what, what this fall semester has been. Uh, you know, trying to trying to put together practices. We've we've uh, we've overcome some, some uh, opportunities we've had to uh, deal with uh, a different academic schedule this first semester, where uh, classes were extended and and uh, the free time that our students had maybe wasn't as as bountiful as it had been in the past for practice times and things like that. But uh, certainly uh, been, been doing everything we can to, to make the experience uh, great. Um, you know, I know our coaches work, work really hard. I, I was talking with Josh Anderson, our, our volleyball coach, and uh, he was telling me about, you know, there were days where he would run three separate practices um, just to make sure that everybody had an opportunity to, to, to practice um, because of uh, class schedules, clinicals, all of those things. So, um, you know, certainly while we didn't, have practices six days a week and competitions. Uh, there, there was still plenty of hours and, and plenty of time spent, uh, you know, in, in contact with our student athletes. Um, uh, you know, we we started had a fade in approach to, to to getting our student athletes back to action. It kind of started in pod group uh, group work, uh, you know, smaller groups six to ten, uh, and, and then progressed to you know using some more equipment, shared equipment. Um, and, and then finally got to, you know, the full, the full group being able to be together uh, safely. Um, we, we felt like that, that plan worked for us. And, and thankfully, we, we, didn't, uh, we didn't see any, any issues with, with the plan we had. We're going to make some slight modifications to that for, for when we come back in January that we think will, we'll, uh, uh, in addition to some testing, that we think will be, um, uh, allow us to, to, to get back at it and, and, and uh, be, out, be out to practice. And then hopefully, uh, you know, depending on how things look in, in February, maybe uh, have some spring sport competition, um, even if that might be in state, um, if we can't, can't get these travel restrictions figured out with, uh, with everything. But, um, you know, uh, our coaches spent, spent a, 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 have been spending a lot of time uh, recruiting. They've had to adapt to, to doing things different there as well. Um, uh, right now, we we don't uh, we we don't have outside of New England visitors to campus for campus tours for recruiting. So a lot of our coaches are, are getting creative in how they're they're reaching out to people outside of the the New England bubble. Um, and I think our admission staff and and, and other people on campus have been uh, doing a great job of trying to provide us content that we can share. Um, you know, the, the virtual tours of campus, different YouTube videos of meeting people and and talking about the college. Uh, and, I, and I know our coaches have been taking advantage of that to, to, to get out and, and, and share uh, what makes Colby Sawyer so special. Um, uh, you know, a, a, a nice fall day in, in mid-September or late September is a, is, a, is a big selling point too when you can have somebody on campus, but um, you know, our coaches are, are, are doing uh, everything they can to, to uh, reach out and, and keep that recruiting train moving for, for their programs. Um, we had had a couple things uh, this fall that we tried to do for our student athletes. Um, we had a, a student athlete speaker series uh, that we had three different uh, three different speakers uh, do a Zoom sessions with our student athletes. The first one was uh, someone by the name of Ivy Watts. Uh, she was a she did a talk on mental health 
uh, which uh, every G uh, GNAC institution uh, signed her up for, for doing a session with their student athletes. We were the first ones to, to raise our hand for that. Uh, I think that session was very well received. Certainly any programming we can do around mental health just in a general uh, year is, is important. Um, in, a, in a year like this where so many things have, were changed and, and people were feeling isolated, people were feeling uh, quarantined out. And uh, uh, so we wanted to, to just kind of bring in a speaker that could talk with them about, you know, dealing with feelings and, 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 and that sort of thing. Um, and that was great. The, then we also had uh, a speaker come uh, talk to us about sports nutrition, uh, which is always important, taking care of yourself, uh, you know, not only mentally, but physically. Uh, and then, uh, and then Rod, Russ Medbury gave a, a, a talk about mental toughness. Uh, you know, what, is it, what does it mean to be mentally tough and how does that affect uh, what you can do not only in practice, but also when we get to competition. So uh, trying to utilize some of the resources available to us to, to provide our student athletes with, with some additional programming. Uh, looking, to, looking to try and fill that uh, and uh, come up with a few more speakers that we can do in the uh, spring semester as well. I uh, wanna continue to do this. Um, uh, there's a, a speaker, another mental health speaker that we're, we're in talks with, with uh, some other campus colleagues to try and bring in and, and do another talk about mental health. Like I said, certainly uh, because, because a person I, I share a pillow with at, at night is a, a mental health therapist, uh, I, I understand the importance of, uh, of that and um, am committed to that for our student athletes as well. So um, also did a did a uh, something else in the fall. We signed a partnership with uh, BSN Sports and, and Under Armour to be our uh, official apparel uh, provider and uh, company. Uh, I think that's that's been going great. I you know I know there's been some people who have been uh, seen the team stores out there and and been able to purchase some team gear um, and and get some get some uh, maybe some holiday gifts for their extended family. Uh, and, and we'll continue to do that. That's a, it'll be a great program and a, a benefit for us. We've, we've gotten some, um, some sign on things for, for joining that. And then uh, we'll get a, a rebate back actually on a, a, all our purchases uh, that, that we'll be able to utilize uh, towards other equipment, other gear, other apparel, those sorts of things that'll benefit our, our teams and our department moving forward. So uh, that, was, that was an exciting thing to, to, to be able to do. Uh, uh, Moving on to what we might, what the winter and the, the spring might look like, um, you know, we'll, we'll be back to campus, I think around that January 15th to 18th is the move in for, for all students. Uh, and then we'll have a, a quarantine period. Um, you know, I, I think the CDC just changed the guidelines, but for right now, we're, we're still talking about doing a 14 day quarantine when, when people get back seven days uh, of, of kind of a stricter quarantine because we're bringing back people from all over. Uh, and then uh, a test, uh, and then another uh, quarantine period just to make sure that, that everybody's uh, you know, gonna be okay. Um, hopefully in that, that second week time where people can move around campus a little bit, we'll get our student athletes back to working with our coaches, um, uh, particularly the winter sports to start at least to, to get them back in, in moving around and practicing and, and doing some stuff. Um, and then, the spring sports would hopefully start up uh, probably the beginning of February. Um, been working really closely with with uh, Pam Spear and, and the Baird um, office uh, to, to come up with some testing protocols. And, and uh, we think uh, right now with what the NCAA came out with, uh, at least most recently with the Sports Science Institute and guidelines for, for testing and competition and, and, and team activities, um, we think we can we can meet the standard that the NCA has put out for uh, testing uh, for competition for for our spring sports. Um, you know, women's lacrosse, baseball, uh, outdoor track and field. Um, you know, we we think we can we think we can make something happen there with the being able to do the testing the NCA has talked about and and kind of set as a as a guideline, um, and uh, and and we'd be able to do that. We still have plenty of other things to work around in that. Uh, right now there's you know, travel restrictions with where, where you can and can't go. Uh, we might still have those in the, in the spring or, or, or we might not. So there's, there's plenty of other things to, to, to work through, but at least from the, 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 the testing side of things and we think we, we, think we have a path forward and, and uh, I'm optimistic uh, that, that we'll be able to figure something out. I've, I've been in contact with um, uh, the athletic directors of other institutions in New Hampshire. We have, we've had a, a semi-regular meeting with that group. 
um, just to talk about what everybody's plans are, what you're thinking, um, you know, what they're trying to accomplish, what they're doing for testing, um, and hopefully, uh, you know, be able to pull something together if, it, if it's just Plymouth State, Keene State, New England College, Riviere, and, and maybe the, the, you know, the Division II schools, Franklin Pierce and, and St. Anselm, uh, you know, if, if they face the same travel restrictions that, that, that we would, um, maybe, maybe we could provide some sort of um, competition amongst, amongst those teams, a Granite State COVID Cup or something. Uh, but but we've, we, those conversations have been ongoing. And, and like I said, I'm optimistic that we'd be able to, to make something work uh, in the spring, even if, you know, if it's limited um, in, in number, you know, certainly full schedules would be tough. You know, when, when you talk about a baseball playing 40, 45 games, um, something like that's probably a, a little tougher when you can't go to Florida for some spring, spring break games and, and that sort of thing. But uh, certainly understand, especially for the spring sports who had their season, you know, canceled and pulled out uh, right from under them. Uh, Want to make sure that we can provide them with, with uh, uh, something if, if at all possible. So um, excited about that. Um, um, what else? So that's, I think, where we're at with the spring. Uh, Want to tell you just a little bit about um, you know, my, my vision or what, you know, what I've shared with our coaching staff, as far as, um, you know, what my vision is or my expectations are. Um, uh, and I, and I, I tell the story that when I, when I interviewed for this position, I was, uh, uh, one of the sessions was with, uh, our, our student athlete advisory committee and, and a few of the student athletes were able to participate in that. And, um, there's a, a, a young man who was on the baseball team, who participated in that. And uh, I got to ask him the passion question uh, when it was my turn for, for some questions of, of the students. And uh, I said, you know, if you had it to do all over again, would you choose Colby Sawyer? Uh, and, uh, and he, without hesitation said, absolutely. Uh, I've, uh, I've made lifelong friends uh, at Colby Sawyer, some of, the, some of the best times of my life. And, you know, people I'll, I'll take with me, uh, you know, relationships I'll take with me for the next, you know, 40 years of my life. Um, and, uh, and, I, and I, it, it, it dawned on me then that that's a huge part of this, that we want to be able to sit down with our senior student athletes, uh, and, and do an exit interview, so to speak, when, when they, uh, when they've completed their, their time or, or near the end of their time at Colby Sawyer and, and ask them that passion question and ask them if you had it to do all over again, would you choose Colby Sawyer? Um, and if we can get them to say without hesitation, absolutely. Uh, I've, I've learned lifelong lessons on the, the court or on the field and in the classroom. Uh, I've met people that will be a part of my life uh, for the rest of my life. Um, and, you know, I, I've learned things that, you know, will help me in the next 40 years of my life, not just the last four. Um, then, then we've been successful, um, that we've provided a, a raving fan uh, experience for our student athletes. Um, and that they'll go out and, and, and tell everybody else uh, wherever they end up in the world um, about all the great things and how great Colby Sawyer was. Um, so that's, that's a huge part of it. The, the, the student athlete experience is something that I'm, 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 I wanna be a champion for and I wanna make sure that we focus on uh, and, and do great things for, uh, for our student athletes uh, during their time here. Um, you know, it's certainly, a, a, certainly also, you know, athletics is a recruitment and retention tool um, I, I think almost uh, almost 40% of our student body is uh, uh, our student athletes. Um, so that's a that's a that's a huge chunk of of, of who we are is, is somebody that has some connection to a, a varsity athletic team. And then if you throw in intramural and, and recreation and club sports, it's it's even it's an even larger number. So um, we want to make sure that that we're able to to help uh, our college's efforts in those things. Uh, and, and be good college citizens in, in going out and, and, and recruiting, uh, recruiting and retaining student athletes uh, and students is, is all of our jobs uh, to, to be able to go out and, uh, um, you know, find, find people who, who are good fits and good college citizens for, for Colby Sawyer is, is, is really important. So uh, excited with, with the coaching staff that we have the, to be able to go out and do that. And, you know, even in, even in these strange times, we'll, we'll be back to normal at some point. Um, and and uh, and know that that we'll be able to do that. Um, you know, I, I think being able to to be competitive uh, in our conference is also an, an important thing. I, I talk with our coaches about you know all of our student athletes at some point in their career should have an opportunity to compete for a conference uh, championship. That doesn't mean making the conference championship game necessarily, 
but that means, you know, being, being competitive in your sport and in your, in your, uh, you know, in your division of, of uh, the conference or in the conference as a whole uh, and, 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 and giving student athletes uh, really the, the sense that they've reached their full potential. Um, you know, everybody's full potential is defined differently. Um, my full potential, I reached that when I, when I played basketball for two years in, in high school and, and I, you know, I got in mop up time when, when we were down by 30 points and, and that was about it. So, but you know, that was, that was my potential. That was my full potential. And I, I felt, uh, felt good about that. Um, so I think just making sure that we're, we're developing our, our student athletes as, as people and as athletes, uh, that they can, they again, feel good about their experience and, and, and speak kindly and are, and are raving fans of, of, of what we're trying to do. Um, and, you know, I think we have to, we have to make sure that we tell our story. Uh, and, you know, that's where, where Nick, our new sports information director is going to come in is, is, you know, we can be doing all sorts of great things on the court and in the classroom, but if, if we're not telling people, um, nobody's, nobody's going to know about it. So we have to make sure that we're doing a good job of telling the story of, of all the great things that our, our student athletes are doing um, and, and, uh, and, you know, drumming up uh, support and, and, and interest in not only uh, those teams, but in our, in our college as a whole, we can be a, we can be the front porch uh, for, for Colby Sawyer college. We can be the, the, the reason why people recognize the name. Uh, I, I truly believe in that it's, uh, it's there aren't many departments. Uh, and, and, you know, I think Greg will, Greg will tell you that, uh, there aren't many departments uh, that, that can churn out news on a, on a daily basis quite like an athletic department um, where, you know, we'll, we almost always have something going on uh, when we're when we're competing. So being able to, to tell good to, to tell good news and, and tell good stories is, is going to be uh, key to that. So um, and I and I and I believe there's there's lots of potential and lots of great things on the horizon for for our athletic department. Uh, just uh, just had a meeting last week and having another one next week about um, uh, about a project we're going to try and do down at the, the Kelsey Fields uh, complex. Um, that, that's going to be an enhancement for our, our student athletes and, and for our fans uh, to enhance that experience down there with, uh, with, with hopefully some, some uh, 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 seating, some restrooms, some team space options. Uh, we're looking at kind of any and all options for, for down there right now. And I think that's uh, that's going to be the next step, and I also think there's there's just all sorts of opportunities for us to to do uh, to do more things, create locker room spaces, create opportunities, and 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 more enhancements for our student athletes as we as we move forward. That'll be uh, um, that'll it'll only help. Um, so I'm I'm really excited about that. Uh, excited to be a part of those projects, uh, you know. And, and I thank President Stubner and 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 uh, the college's leadership for for having me be a part of it. Uh, really excited um, to, to do that and, and uh, um, you know, be a part of this team uh, and, and, and help lead this department. Um, you know, I think there's, like I said, there's great people here. Uh, that's one of the things I think anybody across campus will tell you is, is the people really make a, a place like Colby Sawyer and, 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 it, and it really does. Um, so excited to, to, be, to be here and, and represent that group and our student athletes and uh, be a voice for them. Uh, and their experience as we move forward. That's uh, that's all I've got. So I'm happy to take questions. Uh, I'm sure there's got to be some questions from from the group of of something. Thanks, Mitch. I, I do see a question uh, from Patty Calhoun in the in the chat. Uh, how many different teams and sports does Colby Sarah offer? Hi, Patty. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. A lot of changes in 60 years. Let me tell you, fascinating. A lot of changes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, we have 23 varsity sports, um, uh, ranging from alpine skiing to um, equestrian, soccer, uh, field hockey, lacrosse, uh, women's lacrosse. Yeah. Um, you know the basketballs, uh, all, all those things, baseball. Uh, so there's there's a there's a quite a few options for for our student athletes and and, uh, and like I said a lot of great coaches that that work with them on a daily basis but we have we have a quite a few options and you know always looking at you know what makes sense and and uh, you know I, I'm actually working with uh, with Quinn Stubner who's uh, I noticed he was on the call before at least uh, uh, who's one of our uh, club hockey players he's working on uh, there he is hey Quinn. Uh, he's working on one of his uh, one of his projects for a capstone is uh, is doing a feasibility study 
on, uh, on, on ice hockey and, and if that makes sense and how does a college go about doing it and, and what are all the things that go into that. So uh, well, excited even to 62 years ago, the, one of the reasons I went to Colby Jr. was because of the sports program. And I said that in my athletic whatever I received. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, sports with it. Yep. Great to see. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, Patty. Thanks for the question. Mitch, I'm seeing a question that we've had a few alumni reach out. Actually, Dan posted this in the chat, but uh, yep. I'll verbalize it. Um, a few alumni have reached out um, asking about whether students whose seasons have been canceled or cut short um, would be able to use that eligibility in future years. Yeah, that's a great question, uh, and, and they will be able to. The NCAA has actually um, uh, handed down a, what they call a blanket waiver that will allow students uh, who – they've actually modified it now. It, it was different, but now it's a blanket waiver to anybody uh, for the, the 2021 academic year um, to, to get, this, get this year of eligibility back should they want to stay enrolled or, or be a student uh, beyond their, their four years to get that extra year back. So um, they've, they've offered that blanket waiver. And it's at a perfect time for, for Colby Sawyer. We actually, uh, we had uh, uh, a student athlete advisory committee meeting and, and uh, uh, had uh, Karen Bowenwald and, and uh, come and talk about the, the new uh, MBA program that we're, we're hoping to get it, um, approval for and, and move forward with um, as, a, as a perfect opportunity for, for some of our student athletes who, who either have, uh, are majoring in business or who, uh, uh, you know, uh, have something that we can we can get the, the prereqs out of the way and in a in a timely manner and and they can stay with us and and then graduate in another year with that MBA. Um, so I think it's a uh, it's a perfect time, perfect timing that it that it works out if if we get approval for that program and, and can move that forward. Uh, you know I think uh, uh, Dottie who's who's on the call, uh, you know has been a, a a champion about spreading the word about that as well because I think that's what's going to help us keep Dottie around for for another year. So. Um, you know, we're excited to, to do that and, and have some of our student athletes who, who that might make sense for uh, stick with us. Uh, it's, it's only going to make us make us better in the long run. If I can chime in, we yeah. actually got approval from the program about, I think, last Friday. We got the final piece of accreditation. So that will be happening next year. Awesome. And that means you'll be back, right, Dottie? That means I will be back next year. Fantastic. Fantastic. No, it's a, uh, it's, it's, it's great. And like I said, it's a, it's the perfect timing, um, perfect timing for all of this and, and for, for our student athletes who might be interested in it. Since I'm not seeing any hands jumping up at the moment, um, I, we did receive um, questions through the, uh, the RSVP for this event. And yes. uh, one of the questions was um, from an alum who is who has been involved with the Chargers Club over the years, been involved with different programs around, um, and and their question was, how can they help as an alum? How can they help the college and help more more specifically to this conversation? How can they help the athletic department, um, whether it's through the Chargers Club or through the Friends Program? Or, or can I can you talk about kind of how an alum can help and and who they should reach out to? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, uh, there's there's a number of ways our, our alums can help us out. Uh, you know, obviously there's the, you know, the, the being a member of the Chargers Club or the, the, the friends group um, and, 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 and making a, a gift to, to the program of your choosing uh, or to the, the department in general. Uh, all those things help us do uh, program improvements and enhancements. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big believer in, in trying to do that with, with, our, uh, with our donations and with gifts um, is to, to use them for enhancements whenever possible. Um, you know, I think reaching out, being connected to us, uh, being connected to the college, being connected to your, your former program, um, uh, reaching out to the head coach, some of whom are, 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 are going to be pretty new, um, just to, 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 you know, lend them a note of support and let them know that you're there for them. Uh, you know, we have alums who, you know, somehow have connections to other youth sports teams or, or, or high school stuff. Uh, you know, just, just being in touch with our, with our coaches, reaching out. Uh, you know, uh, I, I don't think we can we can support each other enough in all of this to let let somebody know that hey we're we're thinking about you and we're caring about you, um, but but certainly you know get in touch with us, stay connected, um, you know, uh, make sure your your information's updated with us, your contact info, so we can we can uh, send you updates from our coaches um, when they do their their uh, update emails. 
uh, and that sort of thing. But, uh, you know, and certainly if we have alums who, who, uh, who have topics or backgrounds in, in something that would, would be a benefit for a, a chat with our, our, our student athletes, um, you know, reach out to, to myself or, or, or uh, one of our coaches. Uh, happy, to, happy to host some alums in, in that uh, student athlete speaker series that I talked about. Uh, you know, if we can do some networking things or, or some, uh, um, you know, other programming that might be a benefit for them, uh, we're always looking for, for that sort of thing. So I, I think just, just being in touch, uh, you know, letting us know you're out there and, and, that, and that things are going well for you and, and, and that you're, you're thinking about us is, is certainly important uh, for all of us. Thanks, Mitch. Yeah. Any other questions from the from the group? I thought for sure uh, Mr. Donovan would give me a a, a tough question. Is a, a name from my a name from the past, for sure. Just good to see you, Mitch. Well, it's it's uh, it's good to hear your voice, Kevin. I do see another question from Dan in the chat, uh, Mitch, about. Um, yep. Other questions that have come up are, do we know when the GNAC plans to announce the plans for the spring? Yeah, so that's a, that's a great question. Uh, I, I believe President Stubner has a call uh, with the GNAC presidents ne early next week um, to, to talk about that very thing. Uh, we as athletic directors have, have met and, and you know, kicked around that, that question an awful lot of, you know, what, what are we doing on our own campuses? What, what do we think is possible? Um, you know, and, and that's kind of the the, the, the smaller level of things. And, the, and then the, you know, we, 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 like to, we like to make the recommendation to the presidents of what we think will work for, for us. And then uh, the presidents can take a look at it a little more globally and, 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 and take a stab at it. But I don't know, Sue, if you have anything to add. Yeah, we do meet next week. And, um, you know, unfortunately, I don't think we'll be ready to make a decision next week, but I think we'll try to put a timeline on things next week so that the student athletes and the coaches will know by when they can expect a decision. Um, yeah, and that's and that's kind of what our group talked about is you know what's the what is a what is a decision date a hard cut off date look like for us to be able to 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 give a go or no go for for spring sports and and and, and we think that's you know early in the early in the start of next semester, um, you know and, and and I've shared with I've shared with some of our student athletes and our coaches that you know have having having. Uh, more time to make the decision is only a positive. Um, you, you know, if, if we if we had to be asked to make that decision, um, you know, today or, or two months ago or or whenever, um, you know, that uh, it might go one way. Uh, but a, a decision being put till till then means that we're trying everything possible and we're doing everything we can. You know, we meet as a as an athletic director group every week. Uh, to have those discussions and, and, and talk about things and see if there's something we're missing that, that uh, other people might know about. But, um, but yeah, I, you know, I think trying to, trying to make that decision so our coaches and student athletes know, um, but, but giving it as much time as we can to, to figure it out is, is, is a benefit. Mitch, I'm going to do a quick follow-up to that. Yeah. Um, just for some folks that maybe um, didn't see the news over the last, I think it's been, oh, two years now. Um, can you just give kind of a background on the GNAC and kind of what that stands for and what teams that that um, includes? Sure. You're going to put me on put me on the spot and, and see if I can can name the, the members of the, the GNAC. So the Great Northeast Athletic Conference uh, is, is our home now. Um, when I was here at Kobe Sawyer 14 years ago, we were in the Commonwealth Coast Conference with schools like Endicott and Roger Williams um, and uh, uh, University of New England. Um, we, we then moved to the, the NAC, the, the, the Northeast Athletic Conference, uh, and, and were there for a number of years and had a lot of success in that league uh, with schools uh, like Castleton and, and, and some others. Um, and then recently made the move to the, the Great Northeast Athletic Conference, um, where, where we're at now. Um, and and I, think it's a, I think it's a good spot for us. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty big league, has, a, has a quite a few members, I think 13 or 14 members. Um, schools like Albertus Magnus, Anna Maria uh, Dean College is a is a new member. They were they made the transition to Division Three from a, being a, a junior college. Um, Emmanuel uh, in Boston, Johnson and Wales, uh, LaSalle, Norwich, uh, Regis, Riviere down in Nashua, 
um, uh, St. Joseph's of Connecticut, St. Joseph's of Maine, um, and uh, Simmons uh, is the, the, other, the other member. And then we, we actually have a, a new member that'll be joining us in, in another year to Elms College uh, from uh, Western Mass. So uh, quite, a few, quite a few members in, in that league, um, but I, I think a, a, a competitive league across the board um, and, and one that I think we can, we can have success in and, and be competitive for and compete for championships in. We, we won, uh, um, I think, a, a track and field championship recently in, in the, the conference. And um, I, I think our other teams can, can get there as well. So I'm, I'm excited to, to see what we can do. But uh, a, a big league with a, you know, a diverse group of members um, and uh, you know, each has their, their something special to offer for sure. Well done. I think you got them all. Um, but for those of you who I, I are, are interested, bit. I'm not going to lie. For those of you who are interested, actually, Dan posted in the chat um, the link to the GNAC.com um, for those who would like to follow up and see more about the conference that we compete in. Um, I did receive a question through the chat uh, privately asking about what kind of restrictions have been placed on um, the winter sports teams. You know, once, you know, I know, I know students have left now, but once students come back, kind of what, what type of practices are they allowed to do? How, how long they can go? Yep. Yeah. So we, we've been working on the, working on that plan. Like I said, we had a kind of a three phased approach um, to, to action or return to action this fall. Uh, we've taken a look at that and, and made some modifications that we think make sense. Uh, going to be talking through those with our, with our coaching staff next week. Um, and, and we'll move forward. There's going to be uh, you know, there's going to be a mask, uh, mandate as, as part of that, that anytime we're doing training where we can't be physically distant or when we're indoors, uh, that we're going to wear masks. Um, so we, we have teams who've, who've gotten some uh, masks that kind of are more conducive to uh, heavier athletic activity and, and, and heavier breathing. Um, but we'll take, we take frequent, frequent breaks where we can spread out and, and take a mask off for a water break and then, and then put the masks back on. But um, it, it'll likely be a, you know, a short period of time to start that will keep us in pods uh, once again, just to make sure that we're mitigating risk of, um, you know, if, a, if, if there is a positive test on a, on a team uh, and they're working in a full group setting, uh, that, that means that we have to, uh, to, to quarantine that group uh, if they've been in, in close contact and, and, and activity together. So uh, we want to try and make sure that we can mitigate that risk and, and, and keep some group going at least to start, uh, but also understand that, you know, you're, you're part of a team to be with everybody, not with half of them. Um, so um, we're, we just want to take some steps to try and make sure where everybody's doing, doing stuff as safely as possible. Um, and, and then we'll, and then we'll, we'll work up to uh, getting the groups together as a whole, but there's, um, you know, just, just some restrictions on making sure that we're, you know, I don't know what you say restrictions, but just making sure we're sanitizing equipment, special attention to that. We're spraying stuff down. We have uh, spray bottles of, of disinfectant, uh, you know, that are, that are part of the, the coaches uh, gear to take to practices now where they have to spray stuff down if they're, if it's going to be commonly used stuff and switching out balls uh, occasionally so that we can uh, sanitize those and, and do different things. We, we hosted a, a two uh, volleyball blue white scrimmages uh, and we had our, our ball people on the, on the sidelines and one person, we had an extra person sitting in a chair with, you know, wipes from the uh, big bucket that we use in the fitness center to wipe down equipment and they're wiping down the balls between every point to, to make sure that, uh, you know, we're, we're disinfecting stuff. So, you know, it's a, it, it's a, it's a whole new world. Uh, it's a whole lot of uh, things you never thought about before. Um, but, uh, you know, just trying to take precautions. We want to make sure that everybody's staying safe. Uh, you know, we don't, we don't want any kind of, um, any, any issues to come from, from us being uh, out there and doing things athletically, um, you know, and, and we certainly try to do our part to educate our student athletes and our, and our coaches about, you know, doing, washing your hands, doing all those things, uh, sanitizing equipment and, and making good decisions because quite honestly, at the, at the end of, uh, at the end of this, right, we, we have, we have a student athlete for two hours a day. Um, you know, if we have a team lift and, and, a, and a practice and, and those sorts of things, uh, that leaves a lot of other hours in the day. Um, and uh, uh, that means that, you know, there's, there's lots of opportunities to, 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 to do other things that, that, that could cause uh, problems. So we just want to make sure everybody's staying safe, doing, doing things well. We you know, understand part of college life is being social and, and, and interacting. Uh, you know, this certainly makes that more difficult or more challenging, but I, you know, I, I see when 
this fall when when you see students sitting outside in the on the quad um you know physically distanced and uh you know you see people going on walks but but being further apart um you know college students in general i, I think are pretty creative people uh they need to be um and and finding ways to to be social and do things is no is no different uh they they find a way to make it work and make it happen and um and stay safe thanks mitch yep. any any other questions hey mitch i hope you're doing well i have a question for you yeah um well, first of all, I think you guys did a great job uh, through the first um, term with, with everything. It was just such a such a challenging time. And, you know, I, I was still up there uh, when I could be. And I, I just thought you guys did a phenomenal job. So I want to say congrats on that. Um, I know that there might be some opportunities uh, for inner squad scrimmages um, when the students come back. And I guess my question is, what is the earliest that you could foresee that happening where we would be able to split up the teams and do some some scrimmages on campus? Yeah, it's a that's a great question. And, and uh, you know, I think as I, th I think as soon as uh, our student athletes would be ready for something like that, I, I you know, I, I stopped down and saw a couple of the, the men's basketball practices. And I think Coach Foley would tell you and, and I think you could tell, you know, that there's a there's a difference in, in uh, you know, being you know, somewhat in shape for, for what we're doing for scrimmages and, and game shape like normal years. So, um, you know, we, again, we want to make sure we're, we progress slowly enough that we're not causing any injuries or doing anything like that. Uh, I know that's a, a point of emphasis with our athletic training folks that we, you know, kind of take it easy and ramp, ramp up to things. And I know our coaches do that. The, our coaches don't want to see anybody hurt, just like our athletic trainers don't want to see anybody hurt. So, um, you know, I, I think as soon as, as soon as we think the, the student athletes can, can handle that and are ready for that, um, you know, we, we can explore that. Um, you know, I, I think it's a big part of kind of what you do on a, in a, in a practice anyway, and, and, and work up to and, and try and do, but, but certainly, uh, I think that when we had the opportunity to, to do a, you know, that field hockey scrimmage that we did, or, uh, you know, the, the couple of volleyball scrimmages that we were able to do, um, you know, it just adds a, it adds a different component when, when you can have somebody, uh, in the stands, physically distanced, you know, 50, 50 or 60 students from campus uh, in, in the stands, President Stubner uh, in, in the stands and, and they're cheering for you. Um, even if it's against your teammates, uh, you know, having a contest is, is, is important. It's a, it's a, uh, and I think of those, those student athletes, uh, you know, Dottie, Dottie, you, you can tell us, you know, what that, what that was, what that meant or, or, or what it was like to, to have that, uh, just some sense of normalcy, uh, even if it was your teammate in the, a different colored uniform. Thank you. Yep. Any other uh, questions? There's, there's nobody's nobody's asking any like uh, like super hard hitting uh, tough ones like what what did I what am I watching on uh, Netflix or Amazon or anything like that so hard hitting journalistic questions. Yeah, and I think I've gone through kind of the chat questions and the ones that were submitted earlier, um, no. but I do want to make sure everyone has the chance to to ask what they want to hear. And uh, while we've got you here, we might as well hold yeah. you up for another minute or two. Um, but I'm not seeing any, so. Um, Quinn. Quinn. Yeah, I'll, I'll ask one if you want. Try to push it over here, Mitch. Um, All right. Can you give me, you know, your vision for Colby Soar Athletics, uh, more of a five-year look at things? Sure. Um, in terms of, that's pretty broad. I don't know. What are what are some areas? I mean, I that was kind of. I, I think I put that down as one of my questions sure. uh, for this, and I'm sure that's something you had to think a lot coming into this job of what your, you know, your vision was for the program. Um, so I guess. Sorry to be broad, but you can just take that where you want. Sure. Well, you know, I mean, things things change pretty quickly in in this college uh, athletics landscape, and and you know the the uh, as far as a, a five year plan or, or or what we're thinking. Um, you know, I think I think still early enough in in my time here, still formulating that and trying to figure that out. Um, you know, of where we go uh, and and what we're doing. I I think. Uh, again, whatever we can do to, to help from a, a recruitment, enrollment, and retention standpoint uh, for, for Kobe Sawyer with, with our athletics department uh, is, is, is important and is paramount to, to what we want um, to do to, to be able to accommodate interest and, and uh, uh, you know, provide um, 
opportunities for, for students who want to come to Colby Sawyer, um, particularly so, since it's such a, a large percentage of our, of our student body, like I said. So, um, you know, I think, I think just trying to build on, on, on what we have here, we have some new programs with women's rugby and, and men's volleyball that, um, you know, we want to see grow and be successful. Um, you know, I think uh, in my conversation with our, our, our volleyball coach the other day, you know, our men's team has, uh, you know, the, the third most wins of, of, of any team in, in New England in the last uh, three years. Um, but, uh, you know, being, being, uh, knowing that, you know, our biggest, our biggest rival there is, is probably Riv um, and, and the competitive sec success that they see on a regular basis. So knowing there's a, there's a, a mountain to climb just down the road. Um, for them in that program, um, you know we ha we've had a, a leadership change in our, our rugby program, and, and I know Ed, Ed McKenna is working really hard to, to to build that roster up and to to make that a a, a viable sport at, at Kobe Sawyer, and, and certainly it's a uh, a thrilling and entertaining one, and one that you know we've had success in immediately once we once we've uh, elevated it to that that varsity status. So um, I, I think just just trying to build some build on those programs and build some consistency. Um, you know, with the with the the, the changes we've had in in, in leadership uh, uh, of a few programs, um, you know, just just trying to do everything I can to to support and, and supplement our our coaches and their efforts to to build their rosters and 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 to be here for our student athletes long term. Um, you know, and anything we can do to 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 do that uh, is is important. Um, you know, want to want to be an advocate for for them for our coaches uh, and and for our student athletes as as we do that moving forward. Um, you know, it's what our, our student athletes deserve. Uh, and it's, and I think it's what they expect. So that's what, that's what we want. And I, we certainly have it in a few of our programs. Uh, you, you know, coach Fody, uh, coach Broughton, um, coach Payson, uh, with our equestrian team has, has, has been with us a, a long time. Um, uh, coach Barry, uh, with, with tennis has, has been there a long time as well. Um, so, um, you know, supporting them and, and, and also, you know, creating interdepartmental, uh, um, uh, connections. Uh, I, I know Coach uh, Coach uh, uh, Barry uh, has been working a lot with Ryan O'Connell, our, our track and field coach, giving him you know tips and pointers on you know how does he do a visit and how do those how does those uh, you know how does he recruit and how does he get people here and 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 how is he successful? Um, and, and that's important mentorship for for our younger coaches. Uh, so I love seeing that. I love love hearing uh, you know those those conversations taking place, uh, however muffled through um, a mask in the hallway they might be, but. Um, you know, those, those are just a, a few of the things. And I think, you know, as, as we continue to, 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 to grow and expand and, and try to do great things to enhance what, what we're already doing, uh, you know, those, those, are, those are things that, like I said, I'm excited to be a part of. Good question, Quinn. Um, we did have another question in the chat from Patty. Uh, what percentage of students are student athletes? Sure. So it's actually, it's, a, it's right around 40%. Um, of our uh, students, our student athletes. Um, and then when you add in um, club sports um, and rec, uh, rec sports and intramurals uh, and, and students who participate in that, the, the number only gets higher. Um, so it's a, it's a big part of, of our student body. A large, uh, a large number of them are there because they, they were recruited or wanted to play a sport. Um, and, and Colby Sawyer gave them the opportunity to do that. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a part of it, but, you know, obviously the student uh, comes first in student athlete. Um, and, and, you know, I'm, I'm always saying that, you know, you, you, you came to Colby Sawyer for an, for an education uh, and for your major, or for, for what you wanted to do, because it was the right fit for you. Uh, not only because you liked the coach uh, or, or because you wanted to, to play the sport or had a spot on the team. Um, so, so we want to make sure that, you know, when we talk about getting the right person uh, and the right fit for, for Colby Sawyer, you know, um, you know, heaven forbid somebody suffers a, an injury that, you know, either causes them to miss a season or, or, or if it's, uh, it has an effect on their career long term, um, you know, you, you still have to think, you know, you're, you're going to be, you're still at Colby Sawyer, uh, you know, and whether we can have you still be a part of our team as a, uh, you know, as a, an assistant coach or a student coach um, or a manager, uh, you should still be picking Colby Sawyer because, because it was, it was a good fit for you and, and, uh, um, uh, you know, you, you valued what you were going to get as, uh, from an education standpoint. So I um, want to make sure that we, we find those right fits and find those right people. But I think, 
there's certainly, uh, you know, from what, from what we can do and what we offer from an experiential learning and, and uh, standpoint um, and, and mixing in some vocational stuff, uh, I think, I, I think it's, a, it's a great fit for a lot of people. And our, our coaches will tell you that they can, they can go out and, and, and find people and recruit people that, that want to be a part of, of, of what Colby Sawyer is, uh, not just about what their teams are about. Any other questions? We are kind of getting close to the, the end, but I, I do want to make sure everyone has a chance to, to ask. Not seeing any. So Mitch, do you have any final thoughts? Well, I, again, I just want to, I just want to thank everybody for, for joining us tonight. And uh, I hope, I hope I've, I've, I've shed some light on, on me and, and what, uh, what I see for, for Kobe Sawyer athletics uh, moving forward. Um, Again, really excited to be here. Really excited to be a part of this uh, of this family. Uh, I really feel that way. Um, my family's excited for it, um, and uh, you know, really, really want to want to help us uh, grow and 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 be better uh, and, and do great things uh, on and off the the court and field. And, and I know we can do that. Uh, Kobe Sawyer is a special place. Uh, Patty will tell you, uh, right? Patty, uh, being that haven't been there um, uh, just a few years ago. Um, uh, up until today, it's a it's a special place. It means a lot to 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 you, I'm sure, uh, as it does to to current students like Dottie and and uh, Quinn, um, and and it and it will mean uh, a lot to future uh, student athletes as well. So I'm excited again, be a part of be a part of helping them do uh, you know great things and and tell their story and and be an advocate for that group. So uh, thank you everybody. I, I really appreciate it. It's been a great evening. Thank you very much. From four sports to 23. Wow. <laughs> exactly. Fantastic. Exactly. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Well, on behalf of the athletic department and the alumni and development office, I just want to thank everyone for joining us tonight. Um, I, I hope it was informative. Um, I, I know I had fun. I, I think in a past life, I was athletic and I like to kind of discuss it and I like to hear about the future of Colby Surrey Athletics. So this was a fun evening for me. Um, so thank you all. And definitely don't hesitate to reach out to either Mitch or myself if you have questions. Um, and we will make the, uh, the video of this um, shareable um, probably tomorrow. So I, I will send it out as soon as possible. But thank you all very much and have a great night. Go Chargers. Thank you. Go Chargers. Thanks. Take care. Mike. Mike, how are you?